kitchen where I had sometimes played chess. And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage flame. But all complexions that I adore, so hard to find, they seem impossible to score. So I dream of. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Stitch Festival vlog. This is a very, very exciting day. Um, this is the third time I've been to the Stitch Festival, so I have been before, but this is the first time I have been invited and gifted tickets and been asked to be involved. So I am gonna be walking the Tilly and the Buttons catwalk today um, in a couple of my Tilly and the Buttons creations, which is really, really exciting. So um, yeah, I thought I would take you along with me. We're just on the train at the moment, just having a little bit of breakfast. Um, yeah, I'm filming on my phone today, so hopefully that goes well rather than on my vlogging camera. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, um, I'm wearing my Bakerloo dress, which I have shown you before in another video. Um, and then obviously I will get changed later into my Tilly and the Button dresses. Um, Russell's with me, so he's hopefully gonna get some shots of me walking down the catwalk and stuff. And then I will get some shots of the show. So yeah, um, I'll catch up with you later. Hello everybody, we have arrived at the Stitch Festival. Um, it was a little bit of a <laughs> run and dash situation uh, because our Uber got didn't know where we were anyway we're here it's good we're all good um so yeah i've got a little bit of time before i walk down the catwalk which is just behind me um which is very exciting so i need to go and get changed now put my contact lenses in <laughs> and get changed um and get myself ready i've got two dresses to wear down the runway russell's gonna film it because he's gonna be sitting here watching so yeah um once the runway's done we'll then go around the show and i'll take you with me but um yeah exciting very nervous uh, hopefully won't trip up and fall off the stage um yeah <laughs> um so yeah i will see you in a bit so first out who's going to also do a quick change she's coming out later is rachel Fair. in the buttons and a viscose print from Rainbow Fabrics in Kilburn. It works perfectly for the dress and it's thanks to the joke. <laughs> Rachel Byrne. Oh, well done. Got that done quickly. <laughs> dress by Rachel which was made for a black tie event. She's altered the pattern by using two layers of fabric, a viscose underlayer and shawl over the top. She's made the dress full length, removed the tie at the front neck and adjusted the sleeve to have a simple elasticated cuff. This alternative Mabel has received a lot of compliments and Rachel loved to wearing it to her black tie event and you do look stunning. Take it away. <laughs> Hi everybody, so that is the fashion show over. Um, it was really, really good fun. Um, everyone was cheering and really excited and um, loads of people complimented me. I had to like, um, I went to take some pictures at Tilly's stand so I had to walk through the whole show in the dress and I kept getting stopped by people complimenting me, which was really, really lovely. Um, so yeah, I will, put, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen probably last week, I've put up a few things on my stories and on my Instagram and stuff. Um, but yeah, now I'm just gonna go around the rest of the show. It's very busy because it's the Saturday and it's sold out. So just gonna take it really, really slow and I'll do the best to get some clips, but um, obviously it's really busy, so we'll see. Um, and then I'll catch up with you later and show you what I bought. Door. 
everybody and welcome back I mean you've not actually gone anywhere because this is just later on I went somewhere um, but yeah I hope you really enjoyed those clips of um the stitch festival um of like going around the show and also um obviously um walking on the catwalk um sorry that's pearl tapping on the door as per usual she wants to be involved um i am trying filming on a different device so i filmed the vlog on a different device i film i'm filming this on a different device so i'm hoping sound quality picture quality is a bit better um than it has been um because i think it's just time to move into a different different filming um but yeah let's talk a little bit about the stitch festival um i'm hoping pearl isn't going to knock over the tripod with the camera on um she's having a good old look and a sniff oh yeah there we go thought she would do that wonderful okay so yeah stitch festival catch up so firstly the catwalk which was amazing i had an absolutely wonderful time i met some really really lovely lovely people um some people that i already followed on instagram some people that um i didn't um walking the catwalk was an experience i was really nervous but it was actually really good fun everybody was super lovely um and like when i came out everyone was like cheering and whooping and like made you feel really really confident um which was really really nice they did say that it would be like that that it wouldn't be too scary um so that was really really lovely um and when i came out in the black dress there was an audible like Ooh, <laughs> which was just lovely it was so nice um and it was so sparkly under all the lights and yeah i got loads of compliments loads of people came up to me after the show and asked me like how i made it and advice on making it and things like that um which was really lovely obviously i have my youtube um video up about that from september which i will link below um but yeah, it was just really, really lovely. And then I got to go around the show, which was really nice. Went around the show for about two and a half hours, looked at all the stalls. I was a lot more um, sort of like tunnel vision this time because last year I went and I had an amazing time and I just basically wanted to look at everything and buy everything because <laughs> so many pretty things so I actually wrote a list this time before I left of the kind of fabrics I was looking for so I was looking for um like a kind of I don't know what you call it is it like a cheesecloth or like a cheesecloth double gauze style fabric but with like a gingham and there were quite a few of those they just weren't the colors that I wanted um which is a shame and then the other thing I was looking for was linens I really wanted to invest in some good quality linens to make a couple of linen dresses this summer um because I had a linen viscose blouse last year that I just absolutely loved it was so comfortable to wear breathable beautiful and I want to move more into much more natural fibers with um sewing I mean I do sew a lot already in cotton and viscose which are obviously both natural fibers um but yeah that's something that i want to like think more about um is when i do buy fabric um because i'm trying not to buy too much i'm trying to get like secondhand bed sheets curtains etc a bit more um but when i do buy fabric to buy good quality you know high um fiber like a good fiber um 
fabric. So yeah, I went around with my little list. Um, so I thought I would just show you guys what I bought um, and we can chat through like my plans. Um, I basically went with summer in mind because I've got quite a lot of spring fabrics in my stash from last year. Um, I obviously did my what I'm going to sew this spring video you can watch that um, I'll link that below as well so you can watch that um, which will show you some of my spring stash fabrics which to be honest with you I don't think I'm going to get through as much as I was hoping just simply because I've not been very well and I've not been able to sew as much as I would have liked but um, I am yeah um getting through a few of them and i'm excited to show you some of those makes so this is all very very summery type fabrics um which is quite nice as i say that's sort of what i went in with in my head um so maybe we'll start with we'll do the fabrics last so we'll start with the buttons that i bought so these ones are from incomparable buttons which are beautiful um machine washable ceramic buttons um i they were doing a deal three for 15 pounds and i wanted 10 of these flower buttons because i want to make a dress with um buttons all the way down the front um i can't remember what the dress is called it's a rosary apparel pattern um maybe it's the flora um the one that's got buttons all the way down the front anyway um so I wanted to pick up some cute buttons for that. So I got those. I'm really pleased with those. And then because it was like basically £2.50 more to get another set of buttons, um, I picked up these ones as well just to pop in my stash, which are like a lovely um, sort of bluey green colour on like a brownie natural background. I thought they would be quite cute on some kind of cardigan or blouse. Obviously, there's only five of them. So it will be a case of like a very cropped cardigan or like a you know dress I like with a you know I've made the Anthea blouse before with a gathered skirt and I think that's five buttons on there so it'll be something along those lines um and then I picked up this so well I Tilly and the buttons basically gave us all a free pattern for being part of the show I have nearly all of Tilly and the Buttons patterns and the ones that I don't have are ones that I'm not particularly interested in making um, but there was one pattern that I really wanted um, which is this one. Um, I've been really wanting to make a Clio. I think it's a really cute pattern for autumn winter to make like a corduroy dungaree set or um, like a canvas with like a cute print on it or something i mean you obviously could make something for spring so i did think about that i did wonder about whether or not i should buy a like floral canvas and make one for spring um but we'll see i have got to be fair in my stash i have got a curtain which i turned into a pair of dungarees that uh the erin dungarees which i actually really don't like they don't suit me very well um and i've been thinking about cutting that up and i've got quite a lot of the fabric left as well as obviously like what was made into the dungarees that might actually make a really cute little dungaree dress so that's a possibility with that and then on to fabrics um i picked up this lovely cotton this is a 100 percent cotton from fabric rainbow fabrics kilburn they are a dead stock um fabric shop so they go to like turkey and stuff and they buy all of the dead stock fabric from factories so that it doesn't end up going into landfill they often have lots of really nice viscoses and cottons and this is a very narrow width cotton they were selling for five pounds a meter and i just thought that is a really good twirling fabric i like to twirl my patterns when i first make them um but i like to do a wearable twirl because i have no interest in putting in all of that work into sewing a dress only to like not be able to wear it <laughs> so i try to buy i try to buy cottons when i see them that are a good price for twirling so that's exactly what this is is to um twirl one of the patterns in my stash i'm not sure which one yet haven't made up my mind but to try and get um a good fit so i picked up four meters of this just because i wasn't sure which pattern i was going to use it's really soft it's a gorgeous gingham yellow so it's just going to be so cute in the summer um i like yellow is one of my favorite colors you guys will know if you follow me on instagram and you've watched my videos before um and i just think it'll go really nicely like with my dark hair and stuff so i'm really excited to make something cute with that for the summer and then my next purchase was a very spenny, exciting purchase. So this was from Sister Mintaka and I have wanted to buy some fabric from Sister Mintaka for years because she has the most beautiful things. Um, but it's just so nice to actually see them in person. I really struggle buying fabric online because I always just want to see it in person. I obviously do. And I do know a lot more about um, fibre content in fabric now. So I know 
um you know what it's sort of vaguely what it's going to feel like but it was just so nice to see things in person and in my head I'd had that I really wanted a linen viscose mix because as I say I made that strawberry blouse last year in fabric godmother fabric and that was in a in a viscose linen mix and it meant that it didn't crease as much it was a little bit lighter and a little bit silkier and I really loved that kind of content and in my head I was like I'd really love a nice green linen and then we go to Sister Mintaka and she's got this absolutely stunning viscose linen. Um, now this wasn't cheap, this was £20 per metre which is obviously quite spenny but it did have a, a wide width, I think it was 150 centimetres or 140 centimetres, really wide width. So I picked up some of that to make a dress and I'm thinking of making the... Um, dress that I was talking about earlier the rosary apparel dress that I can't remember the name of I will put it at the bottom of the screen um but yeah it's got a beautiful puff sleeve and a v-neck and buttons down the front and I just think that's going to be perfect I've been inspired by a dress from Little Women Atelier so they make all of their dresses in 100% linen absolutely stunning I'll see if I can get a picture of the one that I'm thinking of I don't know if I'll be able to and they've got one in this kind of lovely sagey green colour big puff sleeves v-neck buttons down the front and a bow at the back and that's sort of what I'm wanting to try and create so I'm hoping I can hack the pattern a little bit to add in like a tie with a bow um maybe have bigger buttons that are linen covered have them like as covered buttons um I think their dress has got a pleated rather than a gathered waist so I might have a go at that um and basically I've got some twirling fabric to do that from last year um I showed it in my spring makes videos I've got this grey cotton that's like a French toile print um which is what these buttons are for um so I'm gonna have a go at like making that pattern figure out maybe do a bust adjustment figure all of that out and then make it in very expensive linen because <laughs> I obviously won't be wearing this linen really until probably it's a bit warmer in the summer so I've got a bit of time to do some twirling and then the final fabric I picked up was 100% linen and this is so heavy. I always forget how heavy linen is. <laughs> um, this was from Higgs and Higgs. They had loads of linens, different weights of linens, 100%, all different colours. And it was really difficult to choose because they had like a lovely yellow colour. They had some lovely pink colours. They had some gorgeous forest green colours. Um, but I have wanted a bright red dress for ages. I have a red gingham dress that I wear in the summer but I just wanted something a bit more like you know because red I mean you might be able to see in the camera red is a colour that actually really suits me because I've got dark hair and I used to wear it a lot and then I haven't really had it in my wardrobe so I just sort of had in my head that I'd really love to make a beautiful red linen dress um I'm thinking the by hand London Hannah dress it's a wrap dress pattern with a short sleeve could be really nice in this and again I'd obviously twirl that so I might use the yellow gingham to twirl that first and get that fit right because this is obviously an expensive linen this was 15 pounds a meter again big wide width so you've got a lot to work with but um yeah I'm really excited I, as I say I'm not 100% sure what to make I don't know whether to make by hand London wrap dress or the other option is the Lyra dress from Tilly and the Buttons which I have made before um and I didn't like the one that I made so again I would need to sort of twirl that have a waist tie with it because there's an option for a waist tie it could be really cute though with like you know a sharp little collar like a sort of imagining like very French vibes like a basket going to like a market in the summer sunflowers red linen dress big straw hat you know I've got like a full aesthetic going on <laughs> um so yeah I need to have a little think about what I'm going to make with this but those are just a few ideas that have come into my head I'll keep you guys updated I will probably do a what I am making this summer video um towards the end of spring and these fabrics will um definitely be featured in that um so yeah those are all the things I got from the Stitch Festival it's just massive <laughs> heavy fabrics um, so yeah, I had an amazing time. Um, thank you so much to so many of you. Like so many of you came up to me and said hello, said that you follow me, that you watch my YouTube or you follow me on Instagram. And it was just the loveliest thing ever. I absolutely love meeting people. Like honestly, it's like worth going to the Stitch Festival or Unravel or things like that just simply so that you can meet people um, that you follow and that follow you. <laughs> it's just such a fun event. And so I just had a really good time. Um, so thank you everybody who came to like speak to me thank you everybody who supported me on the catwalk um yeah it was just really good fun 
Um, I hope you had a good time if you were at the Stitch Festival. Let me know in the comments below if you went to the Stitch Festival. Let me know what you've bought as well. I always like to hear the fabrics that people have bought. Um, and yeah, I will see you next time. I'm not sure what the next video is going to be, but I'm sure it'll be something exciting. <laughs> um, so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on that. Um, and yeah, I will speak to you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.